Barbara, we're at, uh, this is, uh, we're at the World Intellectual Property Organization. It's, it's July 19th. We're in a negotiation on, on uh, copyright exceptions at the Standing Committee on Copyright and Related Rights. Uh, uh, what, can you introduce yourself to the, uh, to the people that are here and, and explain a little bit about uh, who you are and the organization you work with? Yeah, my name is Barbara Martin and I work for the Spanish National Organization of the Blind, ONCE. And I'm here in Geneva with some of the colleagues because we do think that this treaty is a huge thing, an important thing to deal with, and we are willing to see how it's done in properly in this year, maybe next year, so we can have finally that treaty on board. And c c could you explain, like, if a person is blind in Spain and uh, the treaty passed and countries were implementing the cross-border exchange of accessible works, could you explain how that would change the life of people that who are blind who live in Spain? Well, mainly it's a matter of uh, how to access to many books that we don't have in Spain so far. So imagine that we are really interested in other books, not only in Spanish but also in other languages such as English or whatever that we don't have it. That we we don't have them. So it's a huge opportunity to say, okay, I want that book and I can have it and I can read what I want, not what is available, uh, which is normal. Very few books, at least at least in Spain. We're talking about only five percent of the market, so it's a huge thing. Uh, how many people that are uh, that you know that are blind, or, or do you have kind of a rough idea? How many of them would would read works in English, for example, in Spain if they were available? Well, they they are starting to read m more in English because you know nowadays at the school they are teaching English from the very beginning. It wasn't that way before, but as people is aware are aware of the importance of English, they are starting to learn more English. So that's why it's getting higher the number of people who are reading it. Do you have uh, a lot of people from Spain that are living in other countries throughout Europe, working in other countries in Europe? Blind people or just um, well, blind people? No, they not. Yeah, the, you know, unfortunately because of our crisis, many people are moving to other countries. So yeah, there are many people living abroad from Spain. How would, it, how would the treaty affect the ability of uh, Spain to share copies of the, of, the, of the accessible books and other things you have with people who are blind in Latin America or the United States? Well, as I said before, there are a amount of books that uh, we could ch in interchange, you know, so as, as the, there are many writers that you cannot access in Spain and they even are not very well known between or among um, uh, blind people. So it, it's, it's just great. I mean, and in the other direction as well, there are maybe uh, a lot of people in Latin America or in the United States that they are willing to have, I don't know, El Quixote, for example, and it's a huge thing to have it just as simple as if you weren't blind. Okay, uh, I, I have one last question, and that is, uh, uh, could, could, you, uh, um, could you could you explain a little bit about the, um, uh, whether you think it should be a treaty or a joint recommendation, and do, do you think it makes a difference whether the nature of the instrument they're negotiating is, it ends up as a treaty? Absolutely. I mean, treaty is a binding instrument, and that's essential, because as you may know, other instruments that they are not binding, uh, at the end they are not used, and then at the end it's useless. So a treaty makes sure that uh, it's binding for everybody who signed it. So if you signed it, you are making the compromise to use it and to help and to find and to get more books among blind, blind people. So. Um, there's no other way to have other instrument but the treaty. Thank you. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Anything else you'd like to add before we uh, conclude the interview? Well, yeah, we are we are hoping that this whole process uh, take an end some somewhere soon. So let's hope and let's cross our fingers to find in to find the solution and to get the conference by next year. So at least by 2014, we can have the treaty on board. Thank you very much. You're welcome.